Good morning, second graders. We are in the middle of our Musical Explorers unit. And today we are going to be working on um, spiritual. So it's gospel music. Gospel music is traditionally from the African-American church. And today, very specifically, we're going to be working with a song from the Underground Railroad. And the Underground Railroad, in case you didn't know, is from slavery times. And slavery is not a very great time in our history, but we talk about it so that we don't repeat it. So, um... Slavery, um, we we treated people like they were property, and that is not okay. So we we like I said, we talk about it so we don't repeat it. Slaves um, tried were were held in the south, and they tried to make it to freedom in the north. To do that, they needed some help along the way, and that is called the Underground Railroad. There are a lot of people that were involved in that. We are going to learn a song today that is associated with the Underground Railroad. I did a little bit of digging. Um, this particular song was written, actually, it couldn't have been truly associated with the Underground Railroad, but we think of it as associated with the Underground Railroad. There were probably a lot of songs like this one that were very similar. So we're going to study this one because it's famous. Um, it's called Follow the Drinking Gourd. And the drinking gourd, um, so it, this refers to the Big Dipper. And um, I'll show you a picture of the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is a constellation. Now they would have used the constellation because things in the sky um, are universal. So you can see them from multiple places. It doesn't matter where you start. It's going to be the same for everybody. They changed their position in the sky. So it would depend on the time of year. But everybody could see the same thing if you were at a particular spot. So this song gives directions for the people that were trying to escape from the south to the north. So it, um, it told you who to meet up with. It told you landmarks along the way. Um, and I'm gonna give you, so here are the lyrics. It's, it's very interesting. All right, so it says, follow the drinking gourd, and that's the Big Dipper. Follow the drinking gourd for the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gourd, when the sun comes back and the first quail calls, so that would be like in the spring, follow the drinking gourd for the old man is a waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gourd, the riverbed makes a very good road. Dead trees will show you the way. Left foot, pig foot, traveling on if you follow the drinking gourd. All right, so listen, um, left foot, pig foot refers to a, a captain, a riverboat captain, and he actually had a peg leg. So he had his left foot and then his pig foot, and he would mark the trees along the trail, and he would put an outline of his foot, and then the pig leg would mark the next step. So he would mark every tree and all this stuff so that they would know where to go. The river ends between two hills, following the drinking gourd. There's another river on the other side, if you follow the drinking gourd. I thought I heard the angels say, follow the drinking gourd. The stars are in the heavens, gonna show you the way, if you follow the drinking gourd. So there are a lot of, it's like a code. Um, so that's the lyrics and that's what they mean. Um, there are a lot of things that we're going to do with this song. It's a very famous song. Um, so whether or not it was used is, is not really in question. It wasn't used, but I'm sure there were a lot, a lot of songs very much like this one that were in code and giving directions as to where to go on the next stop of the way. Um, and this, this captain, this riverboat captain would have been a safe person, somebody that would have met them at the end of their journey um, to kind of give them the next person to meet up with along the way. All right. So study this song. See what you think. It's a great song. Learn it. Uh, and then next week, we're going to have some more activities to do.